what he look like. Hey y'all, here we come. That's right, it's me, Duffy Odom. Hey y'all, I'm Duffy Odom welcoming you to an all new The American Music Show with your co-host Dick Richards and Potsy Duncan and of course Bud B. Bo Lowry who will be appearing well, he's the artist formerly known as Bud Bebo Lowry, who will be appearing on this set where you see the artist formerly known as Skippy, formerly known as Prince. And that's, that's not all. Tonight, I know you've watched the show for a long time, and you know that there's a, you just can't wait. I know that you, there's lots and lots of things that you've seen on the show. But there's just one thing you're going to see exclusively on the American Music Show right here tonight, where we have only one exclusive guest. And that's right, it's the one and only Miss Jane Kennedy. We're starting off with oh, a very, very not. special no. guest that we're going to spend the whole evening with. Uh, Jane County. So look, Jane, Jane, come right on Jane down. Here. So we're Jane is in town and to start on the off. show. Hey, there's Jane County. Hey, Jane. Our, uh, our oh. <laughs> oh, look out. Showing her assets. Hey, Jane. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be hey, back Jane. in Atlanta, Georgia, my home, uh, my home state. I'm thrilled to be here. Back. I've had so many Crystal Burgers that I'm, I feel like I'm going to deliver triplets in a minute. Oh. That's all Yay. Crystal Burgers, honey. Mm. All Crystal Burgers. How long have you been They'll here? They'll do that. Uh, how long have I been here? I They're can't good. remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're not just selling four Crystal. days. Just four days. That's yeah, very amazing. short trip this time. Yeah, I'm coming back in April for a longer trip. So you can't get Crystal Burgers anywhere else? No, you can't get Crystal Burgers in New York. Oh, really? No, yeah, you can't get them. What are, how would you compare it? Like a White Castle to a Crystal Burger. Oh, um, there's no comparison. They're similar, but a White Castle, the ones that you usually have to get in New York, you have to put in a microwave. Oh. And they're either two, and it turns the bread like to like rubber. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I don't it like microwave. Yeah, you know, unless you wrap it up in a paper yeah. towel, and then it, that bread tastes like paper towel. It's horrible. It's just not the same. No, no, White Castle is not the same as Crystal Burger. Crystal's Brewer. got those little Crystal mini corn dogs that I like a lot yeah. too. Yeah. Those are my uh, favorite. So I could so eat a million yeah, of them. And, and the Crystal has a, a, a significant to me because back in the 60s I met one of my first husbands oh. at the Crystal Burger and he worked there behind the counter and he used to give me free crystals all the time mm -hmm. it was the first love of my life mm -hmm. so those are fond crystal memories mm -hmm. did he beat fond you? memories uh, I beat him Dick that's none of your business <laughs> <laughs> kind of memories of empowerment <laughs> and control if he can't if he didn't come home with anything for me to eat from there I beat him Oh. I, made him, I made him. He was the breadwinner, the, the Crystal Bread Burger winner. winner. I get it. He was the Crystal Burger winner in the house. Burger wiener. <laughs> Did you take him with you to New York? He's the wiener. Are wiener. you joking? No. When I got tired of him, wiener. I just left. I just threw X. him away, X, like a, throwing a fish back into the water, well, and just he, took off to New York and left him down. He there. wouldn't be able to work for the Crystal. I broke his heart in New York. No. So what good would he be? It broke his heart. He had a nervous breakdown. He tried to he slit his wrist with razor blades and tried to kill himself. They put him in a mental institution. And I said, well, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh. It was horrible. So that was before you left. Oh, I hard. thought that was the result of your leaving. It was a hard, hardy thing to do, you know, but I had to do it. Well, because no, not necessarily. Well, he was trying to turn me into a housewife. You know, he wanted me to run that. his bath water every night and wash his underwear and sew up the holes in his socks. And I said, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm on to bigger and better things. I was always destined to become a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. And it's all right there in Jane's book. Right there. Right up there. That book is so good. I read that book. Man Enough to Be a Woman. Mm -hmm. Duffy, did you like that book? I love that book. They, uh, oh my God. I'd like more pictures, though. It should what have been color pictures, it? too. Oh, I, they cut a lot out of the book. Uh, and I brought... I forgot. I, what? Any did, hot I scenes? brought you the original uh, script Ooh. of the book with everything in it. They cut out. Cause I can't leave it at, at my mama's house. I'll leave it in the car. So I'm going to leave it with you, and it's your responsibility. Well, I'm going to put it in the safe deposit box. So. Oh, the I want to leave oh, but we can't. We need to. We I need to, to like it here in my, the new the here parts that were cut out. With the mind trust. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. And then we'll put it in the safe deposit. <laughs> we'll read it. 
Yeah, I won't be able to. Read, to get the whole. I want to do it, but can we'll be able we to, read to read parts it. of it while you're gone if we don't tell you that we're due and promise not to read any of it. You can read any, any of it you want. Oh. You can read any of it you want. But I'm oh. thinking now, where is it in my bag? Lord, if I left that letter on the bed, oh. I'll just like the Shangri La song, never go home anymore. No. Mama. Mama. You mean you had the original thing in, out in Douglasville? Hidden in the bottom. Of, Hidden. Oh, my mother don't get this. No, this is only in the city. This doesn't go out to Douglasville, does it? doesn't get out that County. far. Thank God. I tell him where I get it. I had it at the bottom of a bag full of clothes, and I think my mother was smart enough not to venture into going into my bags that I had packed away for fear of what she would find. The truth. Has she read the book? Uh-uh. She, don't, she doesn't know there is a book. As far as she, she's concerned, there is no book. Just some little scribbling on a piece of paper. Maybe one day there might be a book, but she don't know that there's a book out there. And she already said, but if you ever write a book, you better not say anything about me. Well, <laughs> Jane, no, no, the more Too you're saying, now. the more I'm you write another concerned one. that you're like revealing all this information, even to the to the viewers, that maybe they will never. It's, 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 uh, I hope we can trust everybody. My family will never. I hope will never read it. But um, and and they uh, they they stay pretty much to themselves. They're way out way out in the country, okay. and uh, they won't pick this up. I hope. Erase the tape immediately. I'm having second thoughts now. Can we cancel this whole show? Well, they sound like good old fine folks. Just down are. home folks. They are. Just salt of the earth kind of folks. They are. Just they, down they, in the dirt kind of... And you're, you're easier folks. to get to now that you're back in uh, uh, the USA. I know. I hope some troublemaker doesn't get hold of the book and mail them a copy or something. That'd be it. <laughs> you gave it to Dick. I'm giving people ideas. Oh, my God. Can we mm -hmm. edit this part out? I'm getting paranoid. Because well, uh, Jane is doing some parties now you. in New York. Yes, I am. I'm doing parties in New York now. Every Wednesday at the Coney Island High Club, we do uh, Max's Kansas City Night, and we have <laughs> guest stars coming in, like, like Joey Ramone from the Ramones, oh. and Debbie Harry popping Whoa. by. And, and a lot of old faces that I can't remember their names anymore, mm -hmm. but they've been around a long time and they're still alive. And, you, and they look at me and I look at them and go, Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, you, you don't know the name, but you know the face. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I play records. I'm the disc jockey. Oh. Yeah, I play all kinds of stuff, all kind of music. Oh, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of young kids who missed a lot of that. 70s music you know they weren't even born or they were in diapers and they're hearing a lot of it for the first Duffy. time it's like some of them are still in diapers and some of them are still in diapers and, and a lot worse well that's kind of personal rubber some diapers. of them have moved into diapers rubber well some people wear it's just no wear diapers to raise it's no they're soon. no bathroom. it just depends for the kids Trouble to go to the bathroom. All, people of all ages just run diapers, a hose into your diaper out to the backyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was that punk, huh? Would that be a punk Don't thing to do? to me. No, it would be just disgusting. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was the idea of punk. Oh no, not really. Well, hey, I don't think the idea of pump pump was to be disgusting. I, I, guess, I guess the idea was just to be uh, rock and roll. Got sterile and it needed to get a good kick. You know, and it wasn't shocking anymore, and, and parents were loving it. So you had to come up with something that would upset people again, you know. But you know what I heard? What? Punky's coming. It did? Punky's coming. It, it's going to shoot Punky's everywhere. Punky's coming. Punky's coming. Jane um, Bud, can we get a close-up on all of Jane's yeah, CDs? On what? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. You can go to Rango Now, Fame. the newest yeah. one is the one we're listening to in the background. The first that's, one on the left? That's Deviation. Oh, that's Devi Deviation is the new one. Deviation. Yeah, it has a message to it. What Deviation. You, I mean, you, you figure it out. That's... Oh. That's the English one, and that's the, the American one. The American picture is better. Ooh, that's dirty. And I didn't like that picture, and they did it without asking me, oh. that company. And I rang them up and screamed at them good. And this company no, was afraid I'd ring them up and scream at them, so they, they okayed the picture first. Uh -huh. Because I was in New York, and they was in New York, and I could get to them good. Okay so they knew better. Picture. They knew better. And the sound is better on better. the American one as well. 
And this is um, the one that put out by ESP Disc, who used to, in the 60s used to do the Fugs and yeah. and what, all the, the gods and all those 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 hip bands. And they're back in business again, if you can call it business. Boy. It's a really nice cover, And I was too. still trying to get my royalties from them. We're chasing them to death. Can and you get uh, their old albums? Trying to get Are your they what? CD I'm trying to get my royalties from this one. I'm getting my royalties from those two, but these people just, trouble they're just the not giving them anything back. And we're having to threaten them. But this very is very gritty. good. I produced uh, this one all myself. And, 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 and these were produced by Martin Birch, who produced Deep Purple. And he was the asshole. Mm-hmm. Total asshole, really. Mm-hmm. Well, you're going to do a number heard it here. from one of them. You're going to do one from Deviation. I'm going to do a number from Deviation, which is a yeah. cover. Now, I write my own material mostly, but every once in a while I like to, to pick a, a, an old song that, I, that, that meant something to me, yeah. you know. And uh, as a band from L.A. in the 70s called The Runaways, mm-hmm. all-girl band produced by Kim Fowley, and Joan Jett was in the band. And mm-hmm. a couple of, wasn't a couple of the Go-Go's, too? Yeah, The Runaways, of course, yeah. Called Cherry Bomb. Time. It goes like, you know, hello, Daddy, hello, Mom. I'm your cherry bomb. Oh. Oh, well, put it, you should do the number now because we've got our panel of local citizens who are going to, who've got a lot of questions oh. that they want to ask you, and Rosser is going to be moderating that. Oh. That's coming up later? Yeah, but right now, right after uh, right Jane County with a number from her brand new album, uh, Deviation. Deviation. Take a look at that. Play now. A band called The Runaway. This song is dedicated to Cherry Curry. Can't stay at home. Can't stay in school. Old folks say, hey, you poor little fool. I'm out on the street. I'm not the girl next door. I'm the bitch you've been waiting for. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mom. I'm the ch 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 Was just okay. great. That was amazing. That was a great song. That was wonderful. Song. Wonderful song. And um, Patsy, will you introduce Rosser, who's going to be introducing the local uh, citizens who are going to ask James some questions? Well, now I'd like to introduce Rosser, who's going to be asking the local citizens some questions, or talking to the local hey, citizens who have the questions for James. Hey, Rosser. Hi, Rosser. Oh, hi, Patsy. Hi, Daffy. Hi, Jane. Uh, hey, Ross. Hey, bud. Hey, hey, Ross, buddy, buddy. It's so great to be back on the American Music Show. Well, well, good to you have you back. The local good for us to be back. Please. Yes, our local citizens on our panel today, we have two local citizens, and today our first uh, citizen is Sassy. Uh, we Sassy, Sassy is a local we entertainer. Seen Sassy this year. There's Sassy. Um, Holy smoke. And uh, uh, entertainer, model, singer, um, you name it, Sassy can do it. 
And our, our next is uh, Swami Spoonji. Swami Spoonji. Wow. That's right. There those. Um, you, you may remember him from earlier on the show. Rama Rama. When he was on the introduction Rama. with Duffy. Hari Hari. Now, um, our, our panelists today have some, some great questions lined up for Jane. Oh, Unfortunately, good. we only have time for like a very quick uh, session, so I'd like right to, to go to, like uh, to Sassy and ask her if you've got I'd a like question to for Jane. I'd like to give people advice now. I'd like to give some advice. What is your question now? What was your favorite performance, Jane? My favorite performance that I did or... or what you did. Well, oh, what I did. My, one of my favorite performances was... Right, Jane, the favorite performance that you ever did yourself. Okay, was at the Electric Ballroom in 1972 when I came out and did this song called Shit. Mm. And it wasn't a dirty song. It was just about how everybody, people go around thinking they're, too, they're real good and superior and everything. But it don't matter because everybody has to take a shit. Everybody has to go into the toilet and take a shit. That's right. It's right. That, it don't it's matter that who one you are. One leg at a time. One leg at a time. is the same. It don't matter who you, you are. Know. So, But people didn't get it. They didn't get the social comment. They just thought I'd been disgusting as possible. Uh, so I... Yeah. If you had a colonic every week, you wouldn't have to take a shit. That's right. You could just oh, that's send right it. if you had a colonic. Sassy, please. Sassy, please. Send it out with, with, with all the help. <laughs> what was the question? We were only rated TV uh, 23. Pointing out the obvious. And that's, right, a, um, of course, what you did with that song, Jane, but it, people didn't get why it. Why was it so exciting? Exactly. It was exciting because I had a toilet on stage, and I would pretend to go to the toilet. And mm -hmm. I had Alpo dog food in the toilet. And at oh, the end of the song, oh. I'd reach down in there and empty it out and oh. throw it in my face. Realism. And then throw it at people. Oh, my God. And people would run out. Of, we had to do that song last because people would run out of the place. Ball. Yeah. 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 